Hey guys, Lauren Knight here. You know, it must be hard being in high school. In an anime, I mean. I mean, we have to deal with, like, homework and tests. And you guys have to deal with supernatural elements and murderous students. And now you have to deal with being an assassin trained by a magical tentacle monster that could blow up a planet. I'm sorry, I gotta read the script for a second. This show I didn't take notice until I saw pictures on Google, and I had no idea what it was about. So watching the first episode doesn't sound like a bad idea seeing the fan base it has. And I'm a cynical asshole that reviews anime people like and gives his honest opinion on them. And I don't even know if I even have a fan base. I just have like 700 subscribers and 100 followers on Twitter and... Get on with it! Sorry. But unlike Attack on Titan or Black Clover, does the first episode hold up or should you just skip it and watch the later season? Well, you clicked on this video and see if this anime holds up all these years. This is Assassination Classroom. Yes, that's the title. I don't get it either. We start this episode with the classroom students sitting quietly as the clock ticks. We then see a tentacle monster with a smiley face at the teacher's desk. I was not expecting that. But I was expecting not to expect something, so it doesn't count. Yeah, I watched a lot of anime, and that is the least surprising thing I've seen in my life. Get started, shall we? Class monitor, if you would do the honor. Then again, the voice they picked for the dub is not my favorite. Right. Ready? Holy crap, the class is packing heat. So we get to see some Matrix animation as the students try to put holes in their teacher. And I can't believe I said that in a review. At the roll call, the students are tuckered out and the teacher lectures them about gun assassination. Freaking way did you dodge that hail of bullets? He's got a point. I mean, these are only BBs, right? For all we know, you just stood there and took them like a champ. Okay, I'm just gonna explain a little bit here, seeing how YouTube is a little iffy. They have bullets that are not harmful to humans. But harmful to this creature. And. You know how Spongebob can like. Pull off his arm. And it just actually grows back. Yeah like that but with tentacles. Safety first. And good luck killing me before graduation. You're going to need it. After the intro we see the classroom learning. As we see a blue haired boy. Having a flashback to. Marvin the Martian blowing up the moon. I'm surprised you guys aren't dead at this point, but continue. So, I'm the one who blew up the moon. Huh? Okay, I didn't expect a giant tentacle monster to do that, but okay. Next year, I intend to do the same to planet Earth. But never mind that now. I'm going to be your new teacher. Isn't that exciting? There are so many things wrong with this picture. Wow, they made that joke before I did. So, as I can tell, this thing is a being that is able to obliterate planets and is going to do the same to Earth. So, the government wants to train these kids to become assassins to kill this creature. And the creature is going to be their teacher. And, you know, there are so many things wrong with that sentence. I'm not going to list all of them. Oh. And get this, if a student can kill him, they get $10 million. So naturally, they oblige. Hard to keep tidy, fighter jets. What's with the cleaning fetish? Yeah, that is a good point. What is up with his cleaning fetish? Does he have cleaning disorder or something? And she'll be provided a harmless to humans, but extremely fatal to him. So let me get this straight. You have bullets that can kill this thing, and yet you can't kill him. Okay, yes, he's super fast, but again, he's easily distracted too. So I think you guys can come up with a better plan than this. Back to the present, the teacher heads to China to grab some Chinese food as the students try to figure out how to kill him. Outside, a group of guys talk with Nagi about how the teacher's face changes depending on what food mood he's in. Worried about your transcript? 
Wake up, dude! We're 3E! Everyone expects us to be thugs and murderers anyway. You know what the E stands for, right? Educated? End of the line. Oh. Ah. Nagi has another flashback on how he got into the cl that class as the teacher flies in with a missile as a souvenir. And we get another flashback of Nagi's old teacher being a jerk. Because of you, I received the worst teacher's evaluation of my career. You unteachable brat. As far as I'm concerned, this campus can't eject you fast enough. Where do these teachers come from? Dick Cole University? Back at the classroom, the teacher gives them a lesson about poetry. Here's an example. Not the storm of garden snow, of flowers moving on, but sprouting there instead was tentacles all along. Okay, sounds perfect, but okay. Then Nagi goes kamikaze on him and exploded. Uh, yeah! We did it! Nagi yeah, we're gonna yeah. be billionaires! Yeah. Sayonara! He's an asshole. Just then, the teacher appears on the ceiling in a black mist looking menacing. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and assume you didn't see this coming. Can I say that curse word now? Just then, the teacher shows them their names on their houses and said that he can harm their loved ones if they do that trick again. Um, isn't the whole reason that they're doing this is to kill you in the first place? Also, if you can attack their loved one, why do you need to teach them to kill you? Also, if you can like blow up a planet, why would you need to to tell these people how to kill you? It makes as much as much sense as the Legend of Zelda timeline. Except with more holes and more people dead. Okay, after almost getting blown up and threatening to kill family members, I don't get it either. The school lesson continues and the students give him the name. Honestly, I can't say it in English, so I apologize. The teacher seems to like that name, and that episode ends there. So, that was Assassination Classroom. Honestly, I was more confused than entertained. For one, it is a weird high school anime about students killing their teacher, who, again, we don't know who it is or what his motive is. The story I couldn't follow, and honestly, I don't relate to any of these characters. Most of them are either too miserable, creepy, or jerks. So yeah, I'm sorry for those people that like this show, but this is one classroom I do not want to attend. I am Loon Light, and let me know what you guys want me to review next time. Hey, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you want to see more reviews on this channel, hit the subscribe button and bell to be notified about our next video. Be sure to follow on social media, and thanks for watching.